new folder. And I'm going to call this number two, CSS. So I suggest you do the same. We'll put all the files that we use in the CSS section of the course into this folder. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my text editor, text wrangler, and I'm going to create a new text document. Once again, I'm going to call it index.html, so I'll save it at the start here. So, desktop there, my website's CSS, index.html. Fantastic. Just bring that in there. Right, so you can see the file has appeared in the Explorer or Finder window there. So we want to get a starting point for our website. I'm going to do the same as what we did before and switch over to Chrome and get the source code for example.com and we'll use that as our basis for our index.html file here. So there it is, example.com. I'm going to go to View, Developer, View Source. And I'm going to use Command A or Control A on Windows to select the whole of the text. And I'm going to use Command V to paste it in. And I'll press Save to save that. Great. Let's just get this up in our browser. So we'll switch over to the Finder and open index.html in Chrome. There it is. Great. Now I'm going to build this um, rather more from scratch, so I want to get rid of all of these styles. We'll change the title to Learning CSS. And we'll keep the body content there. Great. So that's what it looks like. Fantastic. So what, what can we actually do with CSS? The first way I'm going to show you how to do it is not actually the recommended way at all. It's the quickest way to get up and, and start it and it's worth knowing about, but it's not, um, for reasons I'll explain in a minute, the way that normal um, developers would use CSS. So it's known as inline CSS and the way we use inline CSS is um, in that P tag there we give it a style option. So next to the P, I just write style equals, and then I use quote marks to contain my styles. And within that, you can do anything you like. So let's start with changing the color. We'll make it blue. So all of this has to be lowercase, and um, we have to use the American spelling of uh, color. That's the standard. If you use the, the British or any other spelling, it won't work. So nice and simple so style is equal to color blue save that refresh there we go we've got a nice bit of blue text there we can add more than one command if we want so I'll put a semicolon in to separate out our different instructions and we'll have font dash size colon 200% so that should make it twice as big as it was before. There we go. Excellent. So I'm not going to go into all of the different CSS instructions that you can use here, but this is just a way of showing you how we actually build CSS into our documents. Now we'll see in the next video why this isn't a good idea and a better way of incorporating style into your document, which is known as internal CSS.